Hey everyone and welcome back to the Redefine FX YouTube channel. So today I just have a super quick tutorial for you on how to do sphere packing and pack any objects with spheres using VDB and Typeflow. So you can use any object you would like and I'll just do birth VDB and then object to SDF because we need to turn this object into a VDB first. And I'll just do pick and pick this and you can just select the object and hide selection. So all you see is the VDB. Now the detail on it is a bit rough. So under birth VDB you can reduce the voxel size to maybe just three centimeters and you're gonna get a lot more detail in the mesh. But we actually don't need to see the VDB. So I'll just turn off VDB to mesh and let's add the VDB to particles operator which will do exactly what it says. It will convert the VDB into particles and we wanna say pack mesh with particles. We still don't see anything and that's because we need to give them a shape. So I'll just do a shape operator, set it to 3D and make it a sphere high res and connect it to the VDB to particles. And it's beautifully working already, right? So it will perfectly pack your object with spheres, which would be very difficult to do if it wasn't for this function. So now you can go back here and you can decide how many particles you're allowed to have. So maybe I'll do 3000 particles total and maybe the maximum radius can only be like 20 centimeters to get some smaller spheres. Maybe we can just do 10, right? So this is super fun to play with and you can use this on something like animals, a human face, um, letters, anything you can think of and you can get some very cool um, results. So to give it different colors, we can just do a material ID operator, set it to random and then decide how many colors you want. So I did three colors, so maybe set the maximum to three. And I've already prepared my multi sub object material. So I've covered how to do this in many of my tutorials. You will just create a new material, make it a multi sub object, discard old map, set the number to three, and then you just give it three different colors. So then don't forget to add a mesh operator if you wanna be able to render this out. And now I can just unhide my lights and my little studio that I always make and enable the V-Ray IPR so you can see what this will look like. And you get something that looks like this. So super quick tutorial, hope that you guys found this helpful. I will be uploading more in the coming days, so be sure to subscribe. If you found it helpful, as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.